Hey everybody. So, I want to make a quick video because uh, I just started this landscaping business, all right? Um, it really started out as me just, um, you know, I, uh, I actually went to a Dave Ramsey class and uh, Financial Peace University and got in there, learned a few things, uh, got reminded about most things, but there are a few things that I did pick up that taught me about um, how I can pay off debt that I have. And it's, it helped make it a reality, helped make me feel that it's possible. So, um, I need, I found out that I needed to make some extra money. So, uh, I started picking up little alarm or gigs here and there, you know, on, uh, on, a, on, a, on an application called Tackle, matter of fact, Tackle, T-A-K-L. Y'all may be familiar with it. And, uh, picked up a few jobs there, here and there. And I'm gradually growing. I actually got a few customers of my own outside of Tackle that I'm main, um, maintaining servicing every week um, and every two weeks on some. And I just want to kind of show my little setup. I don't really have a setup. I don't even I don't even count this as a setup, but it's what I have going on right now. So this is what it started as. This is an old school craftsman that my neighbor had put on the side of the street for the trash man to come pick up. It actually don't look that bad now I'm looking at it through this lens because I clean I clean off the um clean it off a little bit. But he put this in the trash because it wasn't crank, you know, and I I I I grew up um I actually started landscaping it was my first job with my great granddad with his business and I, I was eight years old. I used to be out there you know, pushing the lawnmower, the lawnmower bigger than I was. I was out there pushing it, but the little bit of experience I got with him, I knew that it couldn't be too much to get the thing cranking. You know what I'm saying? Unless the engine was completely bad, either the carburetor needed to be cleaned out or a spark plug needed to be replaced, air filter, something like that, you know. And lo and behold, I put a new spark plug in that baby. I haven't even put a new air filter in it yet. I just took the air filter that was in it out and allowed it to breathe, crank right up the first pull. And uh, and that's what I use for the first few jobs, you know, but it's a push more. And I was killing myself. <laughs> I was killing myself. Um, so what I did is my next piece that I bought before I actually did anything different. I had that. And then I went. And I bought this trimmer. I bought this two, this four cycle trimmer, this Ryobi, which came with this edger attachment right here. I bought that. The guy had it advertised on Craigslist for like one twenty. Uh, I actually talked him down to eighty five dollars, and uh, actually he was out of town. His wife was handling the deal, so uh, he told me to talk to her, and and I talked to her, and I bounced it off him. And hey, you know, just I talked to my wife, man. All right, cool. I talked to your wife, and I talked his wife down to eighty five dollars, and uh, so I got the head, the uh, attachment here, and then what I did is I went on Craigslist and I bought this twenty dollars. Um, the trimmer attachment and I bought the blower attachment for another 20 and that's what I rolled with I rolled with that for about three weeks for about two weeks and and then I said I took the money that I had earned and I said you know what I gotta get some help so I got this Poulon Pro uh, this is brand new on Craigslist for $20 and um, for $20 and um, not twenty dollars, one hundred twenty-five dollars. I just got distracted. I got distracted because, and I'm gonna put this on video. This kid right here that's walking down the street a year ago. Can't see him now. And I try to be a good guy. I try not to be the guy I used to be. But this kid, I paid him to mow my lawn. It's interesting that we're talking about mowing mowing lawns, and I got distracted when I saw him because this kid is supposed to mow my lawn. I paid him forty dollars to do it. And I never saw him again for a whole year until just now. Right now, he's walking down the street. And not until just now. I spoke to him about two weeks ago and, and told him he still needs to oblig you know, obligate himself to taking care of that business. He said, OK, OK, Mark, I'm going to come take care of it. And I just see the kid walking down the street pushing a lawnmower. And he ain't mow my lawn. Now, now, granted, I mowed my lawn a day or so ago. But well, he's supposed to have something to say. 
Uh, anyway, let me get back to that. That's why I was distracted, and I'm talking about this Poulon more I bought for $20, which is actually $125. And it's self-propelled. I got a front uh, front drive. Bought this. And that's what I've been rolling with for two weeks now. But this is it, man. I'm packing. I got a yard I got to go do right now. Um, I, my latest thing I bought was this, this trimmer. I mean, this head trimmer attachment. Mean, I just bought that. So, and this is what I'm using, you know. Um, it ain't been bad. You know, I'm only working two days a week. And, I've, you know, I brought in close to eight, dollars $900 in the last three, going on four weeks. Um, just mowing lawns and you know that's I'm only able to mow at the max three yards a day you know um, I got I got to get some more machinery I got to get some more tools I just went and bought this hitch I'm gonna put that on my car get a trailer and then I'm gonna have to graduate to either a walk behind or a zero turn and uh, that's what I'm looking at. That's my boxer. And I bought my boxer. My boxer died. That's my Rottweiler that I got after my boxer died. Yeah. Hey, girl. And, um, but that's just it, man. Uh, this is actually, I got experience with growing businesses. And this is something that I probably should have did a long time ago. It's a no-brainer. It should be foolproof um, for the most part, at least to make money. If you're trying to grow, um, grow, grow to maybe, you know, a couple million dollars, it's going to take a little bit more than some, you know, just some basic uh, mowing the lawn and cutting expenses. But ultimately, I'm going to give you all an update in a little while because right now I'm, I'm, I'm putting this in the back of my trunk and I'm going and I'm mowing lawns. But uh, I got some marketing set up. Uh, I'm looking at, again, I'm going to get a trailer, I'm going to get some, some more equipment, and I'm going to be able to go from two to three lawns a day up to maybe, um, I'm a, when I get to ride lawnmower, I see myself maybe doubling that, maybe to six or seven lawns a day on the two days that I have to mow. Um, if I mess, hey, no, yell, come. Excuse me, my dog got real hard-headed. She would not go off the curb once before and suddenly she decided because she saw some leaves blowing down the street that she gonna dive in the middle of the street you diving in the middle of the street could equal dying in the middle of the street that's what i'm saying so um so back to what i was saying this is this is going to be something big and i'm gonna give y'all update again in in a few weeks or a few months uh, as i graduate and get some more equipment but um you know like i said hey eight eight Close to nine hundred dollars in thirty days. That's a pretty good little side hustle, I guess. You know, you're only working two days a week, uh, a few hours out the day, um, but it needs to be more. I'm tired of hitting the clock and asking people. Basically, that's basically what you're doing when you work a job. You you your wage earner. You're asking people. You go in and you you you're a slave. You're a slave essentially, um, you're doing labor for a wage. Yeah, L, come, come, girl. And she gets a little hard headed sometimes. Yeah, L. Come. Come here. A little on the stubborn side. We're going to get us some training classes. Come on, girl. Dropping your head. Come on. You just don't like it. All right. So that's it. You know, um, that's my setup. That's what I'm doing. That's somewhat of a setup. Uh, I'm going to do another video in a few weeks when I actually have a setup. And uh, see what we going because I know I need at least two or three more trimmers. Um, I need at least a riding lawnmower, preferably a walk behind with a sulky and velky, and uh, or a zero turn. And um, but it all started with this bad boy right here. I'm sitting on the side of the street. It's gonna get thrown away. If I didn't have it, I wouldn't have the insight to do what I'm doing now to have this plan together to grow this into something that takes me off my nine to five and allows me to can be in more control of my life and running my own business. So with that, I'm signing off. It's going on 10 minutes. Y'all don't want to hear me rant for more than 10 minutes. Shalom.